G'day, this is Charlie and in this video we're going to talk about uh, using conversations in your MailChimp campaigns and why it's a good idea and how to turn them on. So I had a problem come through from a client uh, in the last day or so saying that when they send out a campaign through their MailChimp account they've been getting a high number of out of office replies. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you why you want to use campaigns to limit those replies. Uh, now, rather than actually talk about it now, I'm actually going to go into the campaign, uh, show you where to set it all up, and then talk about why I think it, why I think this is occurring for them. So the first thing we're going to do is log into our Mailchimp uh, account. You can see that here on the screen, uh, my dashboard. I've already gone through and entered my password and logged into my account. Uh, and I've also created a draft campaign so that we can run through this. So I'm going to click on the campaigns tab uh, or the campaigns link uh, top left hand side of the menu uh, on the top left hand side of the screen. Let that load up. You'll see that I have my draft campaign here. Uh, it was edited at 10.07 a.m. this morning and I'm going to click the edit button to the right hand side just to drop me into it so we can see it. I'm really not going to worry about all of the um, information here because it, it's not germane to this video. But what I am going to do is I'm going to drop down here to settings and tracking. And you'll see that I've already got conversations uh, checked and ready to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the edit button because I want to actually show you what it says. I'm going to highlight it and I should be able to zoom in on it on this video. It says when enabled will generate a special reply to address for your campaign. We, they will filter out the out of office replies and then thread conversations into your subscribers profiles and display them in reports. So what that means uh, is a couple of things. The first thing that, that, that strikes me here is the special reply to address for your campaign. If they don't produce or generate generate, that's the correct word, the special reply to address for your campaign. They will use the address that you enter in uh, the from address up here uh, of your campaign and if someone hits reply on your broadcast or on your campaign it will come immediately back to that email address. By creating the special reply to address, what it's going to do is going to send all those, those replies back through MailChimp, through their processes, and then on to you. Now, their processes do a couple of things for you. The first and most important one, particularly for the client that I've been working with this week, is that it will filter out the out-of-office replies. And at this time of year, um, with everyone starting to go on holidays and vacation, vacation for my people in the US and holidays for my people in Australia, um, the out-of-office replies will be turned on automatically. And I think that's great. You, you should be telling people when you're out of the office. It's just really annoying when that goes out to a broadcast email like this because you get a 100 of them back in. So by sending them through MailChimp, MailChimp will automatically start to filter those out for you. The second thing that it does for you is it will thread your co those conversations into your subscribers' profiles, which means you can go into um, your, your list uh, of contacts within MailChimp, pull up a subscriber and have a look at all the questions they've asked or all the responses they've given you to uh, your campaigns and you might start to be able to, yeah, it gives you some data analysis that you can do. Um, and it will also display the conversations within the reports, which is also equally important. Okay, so that's all you need to do is to make sure that that use conversations button is turned on. Once you've done that, click on save. Uh, make sure you've saved all your changes. I'm not going to go through the other things that you can do in the settings and tracking. Might do that in another video a bit later. Uh, and for me, because I'm not ready to send this campaign yet, I'm just going to click on the finish later um, button at the top right hand side. But for yourselves, you can schedule it or you can send it if you're ready to go. But the most important thing, I'm just going to scroll back down under settings and tracking under the click on the edit button and just make sure that you do have conversations uh, managed uh, oh, sorry check conversations checked so that the, the responses come back through MailChimp and you can use their fantastic systems to limit the out-of-office replies and to get uh, a, a, a collection of how your subscribers are responding to your um, to your campaigns. I really hope that's been helpful. Uh, have a great day guys. Bye.